which of the following curves solves the differential equation dy dx is equal to x times sine x squared over y and passes through the point 0, negative 2. Earlier, you were given four steps to solve differential equations by separation. And the first step says, algebraically move all x terms to one side and y terms to the other side, including dx and dy. When I do that, I obtain y times dy is equal to x times sine x squared dx. Step 2. Integrate each side, adding the constant c to only one side of the equation. So integrating both the left and right side of the equation, we get y squared over 2 is equal to negative cosine x squared over 2 plus c. To clean this up a little bit, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to get y squared is equal to negative cosine x squared plus c. Step 3. If given an initial condition, substitute and solve for c. And we actually were given a condition that the curve has to pass through the point 0, negative 2. So I'm going to use that information to solve for c. And I replace uh, y with negative 2 and x with 0, which gives me c is equal to 5. And you can see the work here on your screen. I'm just going to highlight the fact that c is equal to 5. Knowing that c is equal to 5, I go to my original equation and I replace c with 5. And I used uh, the commutative property to rewrite it as x, uh, excuse me, y squared is equal to 5 minus cosine x squared. Now we solve for y. And we solve for y, we have uh, y is equal to plus or minus the square root of 5 minus cosine x squared. Now, I want to point out that the curve goes through 0, negative 2, which means y has to be negative. Okay? Since y is negative, uh, we know we can't have a negative underneath the radical, so the negative must be outside the radical, which leads me to believe the correct answer is D.